Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about how to use the drawing tools within Lightspeed Traders platform. Uh, so what you want to do is get your charts the way that you you know want to have them. Make sure your layout saved, and you know they're the drawing tools are actually pretty decent. You know there are some platforms that have some better drawing tools, but I'd say Lightspeed Traders kind of middle of the road. They do the trick. They're not as advanced as some of the other platforms, but I'll show you a couple different ways to access them. Uh, basically, you go over to a chart over here, and if you right-click and go up to lines, this is where you can do, you know, several different things. You know, so there's Fibonacci, there's regular rays, extended, segment, horizontal. You can play around with what you want uh, to use over here. And then if you get lines on a chart and you want to delete the last one or delete all, you would just do that over here. Another thing that you can do is uh, right click on the chart and you'll see up here I have toolbars on my charts. This gives you, the most common one that I use right here is the solid ray. So this allows you to just kinda, you know, let me just go onto one of these charts over here. I'll click on the solid ray and if you see it kinda, it enables me to, you know, draw my trend line. So that's a, a vertical one. I could do horizontal as well, clicking and just kind of going like, kind of right over in there like this. So I do mostly, you know, a lot of horizontal and vertical support and resistance levels. So if you're looking to do something like that, uh, this tool is just very helpful uh, for doing that. So again, if you want to remove, you know, just a line, you can, you know, click on the line and click up here and get rid of it. You can click on the line, right click, you can go delete last or delete all. So if you have several of them, that's the way you would kind of uh, delete them. If you want to change colors on your drawing tools or move things up around here to different positions, all you want to do is right click and click on tools. And this is where you'll see, you know, right over here, what's on your toolbar up over here. So if you want to change something different, you know, you can do it up here. So let's say I use the ray. If you wanted to do a different color, you can click and let's say do yellow, right? So you'll see once I have it there, make sure you press add and you'll see it added it over here right at the bottom of my toolbar because that's where it is. If I want to move it up, I can just kind of click on it and just move it up, right? So you'll see it kind of keeps moving. Uh, if I want to delete my other one, not have the gray, I can just click remove, put this ray up towards the top click OK, and now you'll see I have a yellow one there. So when I click on it, and let's just say I just click over here on the bottom, you'll see that one's yellow, and you'll see over here it links them over here as well. So it's just kind of because all my charts are linked together. So if you don't like it or you want to change things around, just right click, click on tools, take ray, you know, over here, and uh, you can click on remove and get rid of it, hit OK, now there's nothing there. If I want to go and just kind of change it up again, go to Tools, go up here, and just, just add what you want so you can have it there. Right there, click on Ray. I can click Add right there. Now it puts it back to the gray that it was originally. Just move it all the way up, click OK, and then voila, now it's back over here. Uh, again, so when I click on my drawing tools, you'll see it's back to the way it was. So that's, again, how you can go and move around things on the toolbar and change colors. So, again, the drawing tools with uh, Lightspeed Trader, they're pretty much middle of the road. You know, some brokers are better than them, uh, but overall they're better than a lot of the other ones as well. They do kind of the trick of what you need it for, those trend lines, angular support and resistance levels. So, again, hopefully this video helped you, and we will see you in our community. Enjoy.